Good afternoon, beer fans. Welcome to another edition of Beer Dad with me, the Beer Dad. Um, bit of an update for you. Uh, beer news. Uh, the Lion in Birkenhead looks like it's shut. Um, Rumour has it that there's a, been a flood in the place next door which has come through to the pub and they can't get it, find out the owner of the derelict building. So it's closed, future unknown, which is a real shame really for Birkenhead because it is quite possibly one of the best uh, bars, pubs around in that area. Um, so I'm having to find somewhere else to drink at lunchtime. At the moment, it's the brass balance with the spoons, not great. But I think they've had a change of staff because they seem to be looking after the rail. The ones I've had at the last, this last week have been fairly decent, but not lion standards by any way, shape or form. Um, there's a new craft bar, craft ale um, bar opened up in Liverpool called Sanctuary, opened up on Friday. Um, it's on it's 72 Lime Street, so it's just opposite the Vines. Um, not been there yet, not had the chance to go into town to have a little look, but when I do, um, I can guarantee I'll report straight back to you guys. If not, I will be doing a, a video from in there. They've labelled it as a speakeasy or an easy drinking place where you can go to have a quiet pint and contemplate the error of your ways. Um, I'm looking forward to going, it looks the business. It was in the Echo yesterday, we got an article for it in the Echo yesterday, so if you get to, got last night's Echo, have a little look at it. If not, go on the Echo website, it's there, you'll find it, and have a little look feel free to go down there and let me know what it's like. Um, today we're going to be talking about Guinness. Looking at Guinness. Now, not the Guinness that you drink on Paddy's Day. The watered down black stuff with the thick creamy head that everybody has a pint of and pretends that they're Irish because they once had a plate of stew or they, or they watched Ireland play football once on the telly. You know, ginger beards and top hats and top of the morning and all that guff. Um, I don't mind a pint of Guinness every now and again. Uh, if there's nothing else on, on the... Uh, an offering the bother that I that I want to I want to have, yeah. But I do think it's got its place. Um, usually Irish bars. I don't particularly think it travels very well. Uh, there are places I've been across the country where the Guinness has been absolutely awful, and there are places that've been sort of closer to to Dublin and it's been exceptionally good. Uh, a couple of places in Liverpool that's really really good. A couple of places that's real really crap. Anyway, we're not talking about Guinness. The black stuff. We're talking about the stuff that they, the other stuff that they make. Now they have started selling, and it's available in most shops. You're getting a wide range of Guinnesses: Guinness Porter, Guinness Golden Ale, um, Guinness Export, Guinness West Indian, um, Double X. There's about ten or twelve of them. There's actually an IPA as well that they do called Nitro, which I've not yet seen. But this one is Guinness Antwerpian. Now this was first made in 1944 uh, when the Belgian brewing industry was massively hit by the Second World War. So um, one of the, I forgot the guy's name, one of the guys from Guinness decided to make this Belgian beer It's uh, and ship it out to them. Um, it's managed to survive since 44. Um, it's a very sought after speciality ale. Um, you go on the internet and have a little look around the internet it says speciality ale blah 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 I can't find it I can't find it well it's available in Tesco's and it's £2 a bottle here it is have a little look at that weighs in at 8% so it's got a bit of a punch to it um, lovely little lid as you'd expect from Guinness I've not had this so I don't know what it's like ok so here we go oh. The old trusty glass. You'd expect it to be jet black, I would imagine. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, that's some header, isn't it? Put it through the light. Yeah, look at that, jet black. Thick. Creamy. Anyway, let me just get rid of some of this head for you. Right, so top of the flannel up. Let's have a bit of a sniff. That's punchy, that is. That's packed with flavour. There's, um, there's vanilla. I'm getting vanilla on the nose. A bit of toffee, possibly. Some would say butterscotch. I'm definitely getting toffee there. And black currants, I think. Black fruits. That's really nice. Smells the business. It really does smell good. Um, let's have a taste. Cheers.
Oh, that's got a heavy coffee taste to it. It's quite nice to the palate. It warms, warms it your mouth as you're as you, as you drinking it. It's, uh, it's not too gassy, which I like. I just as you know, I don't like gassy, too gassy beers. The head's quite good on it, nice and creamy. Um, it's lighter than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it might have been really, really heavy and thick with it being an 8%, but it's not. It's it's decent. Um, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. A little bit licorice perhaps. A bit salty too. Not bad though, 3%. percent i tell you what. Hits the, hits the mark. Couldn't drink too much of it though. Um, it's falling down water, isn't it? At 8%. But it does exactly what it says on the bottle. 8 and it tastes good. It tastes like a Belgian uh, Bach. Very, very nice. Very drinkable. Okay, but just not a lot of it. Tesco's, right? See ya, give it a go. Taste it. If you don't like it, chuck it away. If you do like it, let me know. Um, again, if you like this video, please subscribe away, share it with your friends, the more the merrier. Available on Twitter as well, um, the underscore beer underscore dad. Um, let me know what you think. Have a crack. Excuse me. Wow. Yeah, it's chocolate. Um, let me know what you think. And I'll. Uh, See you soon. Hail the ale.